psych, I love my sister, and I'm going to bring you to the whales of how I got the idea of Plucky Adventures and all the movies. So, getting the theme song. I was going to beatbox the theme song, but I thought it was too hard. And since Sonic is in Plushy Adventures, I decided to use one of my favorite Sonic songs. So Sonic Adventure Crush Farty. Open Your Heart. I, I decided to use that. And and one and plushie collecting. Uh so it started like this. I got Cuphead at the beginning of starting collecting plushy adventures so I could make the stuff. Then Mugman was on the same day. The stylus came a couple more days. Then I got Shadow. I got Shadows. Then I already had these two, so I decided to make these the evil characters before I started writing the name of the show. And when I got to my Sonic plush, I chose Sonic to be the leader. And I got Tails right after Sonic. And gonna gonna tumble over you number you remember the Lego Spider Man? I, I pray to you because the, the point that it was too hard using Legos for stop motion. So I decided to like change that and, and I didn't know how to delete YouTube videos yet. So I had no choice. I just had to act like a prank to you guys. And... Then, moving on, I decided to use plushies for the creating because that would be a lot easier. That would be a lot easier. A lot easier. And if it wasn't easier, I, didn't, I wouldn't know what I could do about it. And... And about designing the characters for closing. I didn't do that much. The only character that has this closing is Senos. He's like the only character that I use my own clothing with. So so that that's halfway to how I like created Rushy Adventures. And when I was thinking what I should do first, I I when I was making Sonic Plushy Adventures, I thought, what should I name it? I named it after Sonic Adventures, but with just plushies between them. And so when I first made Sonic Plushy Adventures, it was like the first plushy video that I ever uploaded. Well, not the first one. On my on my two first videos, Scooby Doo and friends and stuff like that. Blah blah blah. Go in the comments down below if you just saw Mugman Shawl in the background, or just half a Cuphead's legs are shorts in that as a video. And it's a little and that and that just brought the future. Like if you saw that, that means that technically brought the future. That technically is the future. And when I first made Sonic Plushy Adventures, I was thinking, should I make Sonic Plushy Adventures 2 or 3? And when and I went after I made 2 and 3, I I had to like get ready to make a show. I was thinking about a show. And the show like the first episode and the second episode came and a third episode came out released on one day ahead of Sonic Plushy Adventures 3 
It came one day ahead of that. It's one day ahead. One day. Promise. So, so I I didn't know what to name the show, and I just decided to name it. It was kind of easy naming the show because so technically I just did Sonic Plush Adventures named and. I did Sonic Plushy Adventures name, then I just did just Plushy Adventures. Then I decided to like so on、uh, making the first episode. It was pretty hard at at the beginning. It was kind of hard at the beginning, but I got a lot used to it because now it's like the third season. And it's probably like the first year anniversary. It will the the one year anniversary of my channel because I've been working on this channel for one year, and I started my channel around though when I first made my YouTube video. It was November two thousand eighteen. It was around November. No, yeah, it was like November, and when I decided to, so moving on back to how I made Plush Adventures, and before I, and luckily, the third Sonic Plush Adventures was like days after the wedding, my dad's wedding. Like a week after my dad's wedding, and since they dressed up my plush Sonic, my other Sonic plush, aka Sinos, I decided to. I was gonna name Sinos Zack, but I thought that was too like of a lot of names, and I watched Sonic Paradox episode six, and. And at, around the end of it, how to make your own Sonic character, I decided to copy the name of Sinos on that, and he I didn't change his color. I just gave him an outfit, and I decided to like, I decided to give him an outfit, not change the colors, not giving his hair. I was gonna take like a. Amy and Tails hair on his head, you know, like that. It's gonna give him that. It's gonna like tape a little drawing and that. But I thought, like, no, I don't want to give him hair. I just want it. And I decided to make him Sonic's twin brother. And since he already has brother and a sister, I thought I should. Like not having his brother, like his cousin, but I just didn't really think about it and have the time to when I filmed the third Sonic Plush Adventure. So I just named him Sinos, and and make and ending season one, it was it was like a piece of cake. It was a piece of cake. It was easy. It was so easy making the end of season one, and when I end Plushy Adventures, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make stuff stuff called Sonic and Sonic and Tails Plushy Adventures, and something called Cuphead and Mugman Plushy Adventures. And up next, right now, I'm about to make, you know, you know what I'm about to say. Cuphead plushy adventures three. Then I'm gonna make Sonic plushy adventure five. If then then Cuphead plushy adventure. For if then Sonic Plushy Adventure Six, yeah, 
And I'm not I'm not gonna make a sound to Plushy Adventure Six. That that's all folks. I'm I'm just gonna make up to five and the cup at Plushy Adventure Five. If can you stop dropping that? That feels painful. Alright, fine. And um, that was the story of how I created Plushy Adventures. I got like a whole three more days until I leave Chicago. So I'll see you guys in the next Plushy Adventures episode or Cuphead Plushy Adventures later. Subscribe. Mm-mm-mm.